guys, it's me. Sorry about getting this video up so late. Um, I've had some recording things I've been doing, and um, I have DSL. Yay. So, anyway, your Friday video. A friend showed me an article earlier this week where Amber Crabby and Fitch is offering to pay Jersey Shore's Mike situation something like $250,000 to not wear their clothing. They are worried about how his actions and the way he is, at least on camera for the show, uh, could be damaging towards the company name, that what he stands for and what presents do not meet up and match with what the company and uh, their brand and their values represents and stands for. So um, they've made this offer to him to stop wearing their clothing um, because they're worried about it damaging the company. Now, the news has reported that the Abercrombie & Fitch stock has actually fallen 9% since this offer. Some people are saying it's a publicity stunt. Others are saying it's genuine. Um, I don't think it's a publicity stunt. He's definitely a douchebag, and they are, again, just supporting douchebaggery, which makes them awesome. And, uh, in fact, now I'm, I'm pro Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm like, yay, Saturday I'm going to go there and probably buy something on my day off, just because they don't support douchebaggery, and I don't either, and I think that's amazing. Cthulhu also does not support douchebaggery. He is against it. He will rise up from Rayleigh and eat your soul. So, that would be amazing if he would do that to my situation. That would be great. There's a reason why Ronnie, the, like, big, roid raging looking dude on Jersey Shore, like, beat the hell out of him. It's because he's such a douchebag. And he's a liar. And he's a douchebag. Just, just douchebag. Really. So, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty interesting that Ever Kirby and Fitch is like, no, please don't wear clothes. You're screwing stuff up for us. Um... Everybody knows that when I'm watching it, it's because it's hilarity. Uh, they ask things like, how do you spell likely? My IQ just shot up like 60 points right there. I feel so much better. No matter how crappy of a day I'm having, if that's on, man, my life just got spectacular compared to the, the idiocy that's on there. So, um, the douchebag is being offered to not wear their clothes. And uh, it has not been said whether or not he's going to accept this offer. I'm waiting to find those details out. That'll be great. Uh, hopefully he takes it. That'll be awesome. He probably won't, though, because he's a douchebag. So, um, Also, this video is up late because I've been doing a lot of recording or filming of As Sick As Us, ASAU. Uh, they're recording their new album, and they're doing it in sections, and it's taking a lot of recording for me. And uh, it's probably going to take a, about a couple more weeks worth of work and editing. So within a few weeks to the end of the month, uh, or the end of next month actually, you guys should have the uh, new vlog for that up. It's pretty interesting. The stuff's sounding really raw and hard. It's, it's awesome. And I'm loving this neat preview that I'm getting. Yay, I'm special. Uh, so be looking for that soon. I put up new videos every Friday, so you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like the videos, go ahead and like them, leave comments, let me know what you like, don't like. Um, oh, for the douchebag that said that I'm a lesbian lip ring, something or other, oh well, uh, that, that's how much it meant to me. Just because I'm hating on Asheville, I'm sorry that you were born here, raised here, and still live here in the mountains of hell. I'm really sorry for this. But, um, if you weren't maybe, you know, a goat fucker, there wouldn't be a problem. I'm not a lesbian. I've been engaged, I've been married twice, and I have a daughter. So I'm pretty certain I'm strictly dickly. So, yeah, back off, loser face. I don't really care. You can go join the situation in the ER, because whatever. So, idiocy. So, aside from idiot douchebag comments, other comments are definitely welcome. So, Cthulhu loves you guys, and we will see you next Friday.